Hey guys, what's going on? MangoFruit63 here, and welcome back to another video. As you can see in this video, there have been some changes. Uh, I added sound, well, my voice, and I also started uh, recording Clash Royale. I've never before uh, recorded Clash Royale, but I've played it for a really, really long time. Uh, I'm doing this video on the game right now because of the new update that recently came out. Uh, for me, it came out yesterday. I'm not sure about other countries, if there's a time lapse. So, in the new update, what they did is they removed the free chests button and they've added quests. Now, with quests, you can complete daily goals and get a chest. Sometimes it will be a legendary chest, sometimes it will be a magical chest, or right now, as you can see, I just have a gold chest. Today is the second day since I've been collecting. So, uh, you can remove one challenge per day only. As you can see, I've already used that one time to remove it. Uh, the shop has also changed. Now there are much more cards in the shop, and you can buy a certain amount of gems, uh, a certain amount of coins for gems. For example, here you can see 600 gold for 20 gems, but in the shop you don't have that option. So that's pretty cool. If you need a lower amount, then if you need a lower amount than 1,000. You also have much more cards. Usually the nine cards would only appear on a Sunday, I think. that's It's called Epic Sunday. You can also request epic cards from your clan. Uh, now, here a lot has changed. Like, really a lot. So now, as you, before you might notice, there only have been these two challenges. Grand Challenge and Classic Challenge. And if they would add a new card or the Draft Challenge or something like that. The tournaments had a little plus button where you would actually create one and join. But now they put that all the way to the bottom. And on the top you can see uh, two Barbarians, well Elite Barbarians. And they changed the logo of the Events button. Uh, also, they've added the 2v2 touchdown challenge, pretty much that's like the new challenges they add for a certain amount of time. They're, they stayed at the top, they only just changed a little bit of the design. Uh, back here, and this, is, and this is how it looks like when you enter it, pretty much just like the last update, this is how challenges look like. Then, uh, 2v2 touchdown daily practice. This uh, will be available every day. So every day you'll be able to go log on and collect this. As you can see I've already collected all of this two times. The You can join for free, you don't have to pay anything, and you can lose as many times as you want and, and you will not get the three strike lose unlike the one you get here. As you can see, if I get three loses, I'm out, and then I just wasted 10 gems. Uh, in the clan, nothing has changed. Everything has just stayed the same. Here, they you, you might realize, well, see the difference. They've made the buttons much bigger. They've made the buttons much bigger, and uh, they also are going to remove achievements in the next update the tournaments the battles everything here stayed the same the 2v2 now it says actually how many friends are online you do not have to go in here and then you know just you know, uh, see how many of your friends actually are online now you can just quickly see it from that uh, the battles, I don't think they have changed at all. Right now we're gonna do one battle just to see if anything is different, or if anything has changed. So, I can, I can put an Inferno Dragon there. Let's put the Miner there, we can put the Electro Wizard. I'm gonna put the Electro Wizard here because I don't want to do that myself. It's not a really dumbest move I ever made. Uh, we, well, I wanna place a royal giant and then do the goblin down here. We can do that. We can put a fireball to the ice wizard. He just destroyed all my scouts, and that's really bad. 
so oh, good somebody's rolling for me. Uh okay. So we're gonna wait for the roll giant to charge up. Actually I'm gonna have to put the inferno right in there. And we're going to, oh he has inferno battle. Okay, um no, this is this is my stuff. Okay, the inferno dragon is gonna die. So he didn't do much damage to my towers, but I did a lot to his, so that's always good. We are going to... We can put the miner to mess with that guy. We can put that there. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna put the royal... Let's see. No, these are not good. Okay, this is really good. Okay, these guys are gonna come from, so we're gonna die. We're gonna put the skeletons there, but I'm not really gonna have anything for my hog wire. And he's gonna put out in a moment. Yes, yeah, see. We can put that there, we can do... I don't think he has health, I'm so far. I didn't see that. We're gonna put that there, we're gonna do Goblin Barrel, and then we're gonna just run. Oh yeah, we need that. Okay, so he's gonna ruin that power, and that's, you know, anyway, I can just do this. So, I just need uh, the Inferno Dragon to die right now. So gonna, okay, okay, that guy's gonna die, that guy's gonna die. So we can just put that there. And, where did I go? Okay, I'm gonna reach the dog here. I'm gonna put these down here. Ah, okay, we'll do that. I think it's at least. He's gonna put in. Let's do it for a dragon. I'm gonna do that guy here. Um. Okay, perfect to put the whole thing in there. I think this is a dumb move, but I'm gonna go and attack his, his main tower. Now, okay, he doesn't have skeletons, so I think Goblin Barrel is gonna be a good idea if we go Okay, he died. Do that there. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be a tower. Alright, so, well, by the looks of the battle, really haven't changed that much. I haven't played a single battle since the new update. And I really thought, you know, something was gonna change. But, I'm gonna show you a little bit. Uh, the new game mode is pretty sick. It's something completely brand new to Clash Royale. There are no towers, there isn't anything. And by the way, when you complete something, you're gonna get like a pop-up from up there. If you completed the one of the quests, as you can see, yeah, I just did one, I play one v one arena battle ten times. I play one, so yeah. Two v two touchdown. This thing is a well, like I said, a brand new game mode to Clash Royale. So you can enter it as you can see. I win wins. I already completed everything, but we're gonna do a two v two. Um, it's mostly like the other one. It's mostly like all of the challenges that, you know, they usually put out. Three losers, you're out. Everything is the same. The draft challenge is also completely the same. They haven't changed that much. But the game mode is completely new. Anything like this has never existed in Clash Royale. There's even a moving audience, as you can see up there and down here. They have animations. So, there are no towers. Well, as you can see, uh, there are no towers at all. All you have to do is get one of your troops all the way to the end. The best thing to do is just to put like a troop here at the side and just let them go all the way to the end. That's the best thing to do. That's what I usually do. But you also have to watch out for these bottom lines down here that you like accidentally do not let one of their troops pass 
which could be really really bad. Uh, they also lowered, they, they changed some parts. They lowered the radius of the graveyard, but uh, they've, uh, they've also fixed Sparky. I like thought they're never gonna fix Sparky in like, my lifetime. Never, but he actually fixed things. So now he has faster regeneration, he faster regenerates his energy, and uh, I think he also shoots a little bit faster. I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a test right now. Actually. And we uh, I thought we were gonna lose. Okay. I do not have anything except these archers. Yeah, okay, yeah. never mind. Uh, as you can see, also get the fireworks like from the side. That's also pretty cool. Um, this guy, I think there's like an Easter egg when you hit him, he just drops some um, black and white. Uh, I don't know what they're called, like little stripes. When you hit him, he actually drops that. So we are going to do a fireball there. Uh, just pure goblins there. We can't send anything there because there's the big rock. Yeah, they have the team. Okay, they're, they really are pretty cool. Okay. We can only send this and we are not going to reach it again. So, I'm oh, not taking it away. The pepper is going to mess it up. We can put the art. Oh, okay, we're going to go. Um, let's do that. Um, I think the Pekka is going to go away. Okay. But they have a lot of structures, which is an issue. And they have two legendary structures. Okay, uh, we can do a dragon there. And we can also put one more of these structures down here. The dragon is pretty close, but I do not think it's gonna reach. We can put this here. Oh no, it's gonna be it. No, they're gonna run. run. Oh, we tried. They're, they also added granny text. This is the same. I'm not talking about these small chat emojis. They are the same. They really haven't changed at all. As you can see, when, you, when the battle finishes, it immediately puts you in a chat area. You have the X button to leave and the exit button to leave. The X button just brings you to the trophy area and the exit button completely brings you out of the battle. When you press these like three dots in a cloud, as you can see there are much more uh, sentences you can use to chat with other players. And when somebody leaves, just gonna say that he left the chat. So you have like, good game, well played, ha uh, if not for us then who, goodbye. Uh, they really added like lots of text. I just thought that this is never going to come to Clash Royale. Uh, they also added a brand new loading screen, which is pretty cool. And I think that's about it. Which still sucks is that you can change your name. You can still only just change your name once. The arenas, they are all the same. They have not changed. It goes from legendary, well, it actually goes from the training camp, I believe. Yeah, training camp, all the way to, all the way to legendary arena, and then you, and then goes from challenger one to ultimate champion. Uh, uh, this is also a brand new feature. I forgot to speak about this. This is, uh, you can actually share your deck with this button. Uh, when you push it, it gives you an option to share it to social media, Viber, Android Beam, Wi-Fi Direct, WhatsApp, everything. So, uh, that button is also pretty cool. And if you want me, uh, if you want to see a video from me on this new card that's gonna be available soon, I also know which card it is going to be, just leave a like and leave a comment, say hashtag new card. And I'll see you in the next.